The electro equiscope was the combination of the older technology, which was known as the electro ocuscope and myopulse. But the equiscope incorporates a technology that was never available before. The miracle here is the human body and how it repairs itself. But don't you think it's a little strange if you're diagnosed with an EEG, an EKG, an EMG? What's the E stand for? Electro. So if you're diagnosed electrically, and how do they bring you back to life when you have a big major heart attack? They use the defibrillator, current electricity. So all those movies as kids, Frankenstein, how do they bring Frankenstein to life? They used electricity. So if we're diagnosed electrically, we're brought back to life electrically. Why aren't you being treated electrically? Well, now you can be treated electrically and in a way that the body has never been treated electrically. And the predecessors, yes, they laid a tremendous foundation with the elite and professional athletes and expediting the body's process of healing two to three times faster than normal. And when you do such golfing greats such as Jack Nicholas, and after his treatments, he went out and won the Masters, and Hale Irwin, and the PGA and the, and the equipment actually traveled with the DP trailer and Paul Calloway in the early 80s. As a human being, you're one big capacitor with 50 billion little capacitors inside. And we all have that same medium, the non-conducting dielectric in every cell, of which is positive ions on one side and negative ions on the other side. If that gets challenged, we have what's known as cellular inflammation. And then you have the cascade of events that go down after the cell begins to inflame, which puts it into a stressed mode. That stress mode releases inflammation and the cascade of events is the arachidonic acids, the prostaglandins, and I call them the pain molecules that are released into the system. So you must realize you're electrical before you're biochemical all day long. The electrical sets up the biochemical response We've been to the moon, we haven't been to the gray matter of our brain, the autonomic nervous system. So what this device is capable of doing is scanning, searching, and seeking missile guidance chip technology, cybernetic technology that was developed for Star Wars, Strategic Defense Initiative. And this intelligent heat-seeking mechanism that continually changes the, until it hits the target that's what these devices are doing with the human body. They're scanning and searching and seeking any cell that's not holding membrane potential. They find it and they correct it in milliseconds. They strengthen the non-conducting medium, which is the dielectric. So we bring back perfect cellular homeostasis. So what's that damaged low energy cell gonna do? It's gonna create a healthier and healthier cell. So it's a cumulative building block process as the body rebuilds itself perfectly. It's the response of the autonomic nervous system that can kill you or cure you of putting your body in a condition to heal itself all by itself. So the equiscope was the two older devices that were created in the early 80s. They had a 25-year history. Those were the first two devices that I got. And then at the funeral of one of the top distributors, I was told that the inventor would be there. So I went to that distributor's funeral, and there I met the physicist who likes to remain anonymous. This is his tithe, this is his give back to mankind, because without what we're doing, we don't think mankind's gonna make it. We have two modalities built into one device. On modality one in the equiscope is neurological and brain function, that's a square wave. On Modality two is connective tissue, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and bone. That's a sine wave. Now basically these devices, when we excite the tissue, we capture the behavior of the autonomic nervous system to our excitation. That's what's measurable. It's not about infusing a charge. All the other devices that are out in the marketplace just bombard the tissue, bombard the tissue with the same waveform characteristic, bombarding, bombarding, bombarding until they tire it out. And it goes from ATP, 
which is anosine triphosphate, to ADP, which is diphosphate or depletion. Now, a TENS device is a millionth of an amp. The equoscope is a trillionth of an amp. It's down to the pico current. It's very small. It matches very uh, synergistically with the, your body electric. All dis-ease is toxic response. If you remove the toxicity, you remove the response, which is disease. We can reestablish electrical membrane potential. In 1991, the Nobel Prize was awarded to two German scientists that proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're electrical before you're biochemical. And that there's between 24 and 28 what are now known as voltage sensitive ion channels in every cell. We set the body up to heal itself all by itself. Many of you know a gentleman by the name of Mark Victor Hansen. He wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. Uh, you know me, I'm Mark Victor Hansen, co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul and the One Minute Millionaire series. But today I want to talk to you about one of my close, dear friends who I've thought the world of for over a decade. His name is John Thorpe. And for me personally, I had my hips and they said, hey, look, 10 years ago, uh, you got to replace them with porcelain on John. And what he did is he regenerated my hips instantaneously. He still doesn't have his hip replaced. The good Lord made us perfect. Your joints are meant to last 100 plus plus years. The medicine that I'm talking about goes back to first century AD. The magician, who was the physician, they found a, a little porcelain jar with a copper wire down the center of it in a Baghdad dig in 1934. In that little porcelain cylinder with a copper wire was found in the magician's quarter and it was obviously being used for something medical. It's like a little battery. First century AD, along the Nile region, they raised a little fish called a torpedo fish, an electrically charged fish. This is well documented. And people would wade into these little shallow ponds and stand on these electrically charged fish until the pain in their legs went away. So what I'm talking about is nothing new. It's been around since first century AD. The doctors that have our equipment are in every walk of medicine from the neurosurgeon, the cardiologist. They understand what we're doing because they put in pacemakers and things like that. Internal medicine doctors, veterinarians, acupuncturists. In some states, it's legal for massage therapists. And we also have beauty care built into the device as well. So the lowest license required to use the device is an esthetician license. Every woman says, forget my pain, do my face. We want to change the face of medicine as you know it today into a non-drug, non-invasive world that has a 90% success rate in the reduction of chronic pain and disease and being able to calculate the mathematical signature of the response to our excitation. It's Ohm's law. This is science. This is truly how your body operates. You can so space age missile guidance chip technology and where it came from is weapons of mass destruction. And what it's capable of is weapons of mass healing, allowing the body to heal itself all by itself. The miracle, the human body. <laughs>